Good morning, class. I am Theology Ocampo, and I will be your MAPE teacher today. Before we start, let us all pray first and ask for the guidance of the Lord. Kiana, would you please lead the prayer? Thank you, Kiana. Now, before you take your seat, kindly pick up the pieces of paper under your chair and arrange your chair properly. Thank you. Now, let us all check your attendance. Monitor, do we have an absence today? Wow! I'm glad that all of you are present today. Now, prepare a pen and paper because we will be using them later. Let's have a quick recap. Can someone tell me what we have discussed last meeting? Yes, Dan? Very good. So we talk about health. So can someone tell me what health is? Yes, Jay. Very good. So now, let's answer all the assignments that we I have given to you. So first, what is mental health? Very good. So now, what are the factors that contribute mental health problems? Very good. So now, um, I'm glad that you answered all the questions because we can use those later in our discussion. Okay, my dear students, before we proceed to our discussion, we will play a game that I think most of you already played it. The four picks, one word. I will present you four photos, and you will have to guess that one specific word fits the theme of that picture. You can work out what's that word by using the set of letters given beside the photos. The student who can have a big number of correct will have an additional two points their activity later. Now, let's play the game. Thank you all for participating. Now class, according to the game that you played a while ago, what do you think is our topic for today? Very good class. So what else? Very good. So our topic today is all about mental health. So now class, do you have any idea about mental health? Very good. So now I will flash a short video in the screen and then um, related to the topic that we will talk about today. And then after that, um, you need to write your thoughts and insights about it, okay? You can't tell how someone feels just by looking at them or what they share online. To the outside world, our lives may look perfect, even if in reality they aren't. I'm always worrying about doing well at school, and with the end of year test coming up, I'm not sure how much longer I can cope. My thoughts swarm around my head, sometimes keeping me up all night. Some days it's just all too much, and I feel like I'm lost in space. When I did badly on one of my tests, I just about kept it together until I got home. Then I broke down crying in front of my mum. She listened for a bit, and then she told me that, just like physical health, we all have mental health. It's our feelings, our thinking, our emotions and our moods. She then said that feeling down, angry and stressed is a normal part of life. Just like it's normal to feel happy, confident and carefree sometimes. We all have positive and negative emotions that come and go based on what's happening around us. These are everyday feelings. Good mental health means experiencing negative emotions. It's not always about being happy. Mum can relate to the feelings of stress. So when mum suggested I take a break from everything and do something I enjoy, I actually took her advice. So I made myself a hot chocolate, snuggled up in a duvet and watched a film. And you know what? Afterwards, I felt so much better. Mum should take her own advice. Now, kindly read the goals of our discussion today. Who wants to read? Yes, Rana. Thank you, Rana. Now, let's talk about mental health more. Mental health, it includes 
includes our emotional, psychological, and social well-being. It affects how we think, feel, and act. It also helps determine how we handle stress, relate to others, and make choices. Mental health is important at every stage of life, from childhood, adolescence, and from adulthood. Many factors contribute to mental health problems, including biological factors such as genes or brain chemistry, life experiences um, such as trauma or abuse, or family history of mental health problems. So again, class, what is mental health? Yes, John? Very good. Who else? Yes, Alisa? Very good. So now, to further that, uh, we have mental health. Now, let's talk about more in the early warning signs of mental health. So now, before we proceed, um, I want to ask everyone if there is someone who already experienced mental health problem. Yes, Nika. You can share it because what we hear, what we see, we live it here. Okay, I'm sorry for asking, but always remember, Nika, that no matter what happened, you always have me and your classmates behind behind your back. And um, we will always support you, okay? So thank you for sharing, Nika. With that, we will proceed to the discussion of early warning signs of mental health problems. The early warning signs of having mental health problem Eating or sleeping too much or too little Pulling away from people and usual activities Having low or no energy Feeling helpless or hopeless Smoking, drinking, or using drugs more than usual Feeling unusually confused, forgetful, on edge, angry, upset, worried, or scared yelling or fighting with family and friends, experiencing severe mood swings that cause problems in relationships, having persistent thoughts and memories you can't get out of your head, hearing voices or believing things that are not true, and thinking of harming yourself or others. Okay, class, so if you can see in the screen, there are a lot of signs that you can use to identify if the person is actually having a mental health problem. So let's be mindful and be observant in dealing with other people because maybe the person you are actually uh, dealing with is, I mean, has a mental health problem, okay? So now to give us more information about the mental health um, and the things that a person can do if they have a positive mental health, let's have, I mean, um, again, a video. Let's watch again a video. We all have mental health. It is just as important as physical health. It is not only about mental illness or mental disorders. This is just one part of a bigger picture. It's best to think about mental health as being on a continuum rather than people being either mentally ill or mentally well. We are all on the continuum and we move up and down according to factors such as our genetic makeup and upbringing, our life circumstances and the stresses we are under. At one end of the continuum we have mental disorders like depression or anxiety and at the other end we have states of positive mental health when we're thriving, content and fulfilled. The aim of mental health interventions is to move people up the continuum so that they're able to reach their full potential and live satisfying lives. The World Health Organization describes mental health as a state of well-being in which every individual realizes his or her own potential, can cope with the normal stresses of life, can work productively and fruitfully, and is able to make a contribution to his or her community. Being mentally healthy means being resilient and able to cope with difficult times, feeling in control, being confident, feeling good about yourself, managing and expressing your emotions, building and maintaining good relationships. We all experience periods when we feel stressed, 
worried, anxious, sad, afraid or angry. These are all normal emotions. However, when these emotions become severe enough that it interferes with the person's ability to function daily, and these feelings become persistent over time, then it can develop into a mental health problem. There are many different types of mental disorders. When left untreated, mental disorders can be chronic and long-lasting and are associated with increased disability. They significantly have an impact on daily functioning and frequently interfere with family, social and work responsibilities. Fortunately, there are effective treatments and evidence-based interventions available that aim to help individuals understand and cope with symptoms of mental illness. However, very few people with mental disorders access existing treatment services. This may be due to barriers such as the stigma attached to seeking help, the lack of understanding of mental health problems, uncertainty of how to get help, or the fear of disclosing mental health problems. Research shows that stigma remains one of the biggest factors preventing people from seeking help early for their mental health problems and getting the appropriate support they need. It is important to acknowledge that we all have mental health and have a personal responsibility to learn how we can improve and maintain our well-being in order to lead meaningful and satisfying lives. Okay, class, we already knew what positive mental health allows people to do. Okay, Molly, would you please read it again? Okay, thank you Molly. So now, are you determined class to have a positive mental health? Very good. So with that, why do you think mental health is important? Yes, Joey. Wow, very good answer Joey. So now, with that, we will proceed on the ways on how to maintain a positive mental health. So I wa wants to read um, what is written on the screen. Yes, Alma. Okay, thank you, Alma. So, class, your mental health and well-being is important as our physical health. Okay, so positive mental health and well-being um, enables you to function well and have meaningful social connection because you can actually interact with other people without thinking anything else and positive self-esteem and be better um, able to cope with life's ups and downs so keeping our mind um, healthy is an important part of our overall health and well-being okay class if we don't have any questions about our topic today, I will ask questions about our topic that we have discussed a while ago. So first, what is mental health? Who wants to answer? Yes, Steph? Very good! So, mental health includes our emotional, psychological, and social well-being okay it affects how we think how we feel and how we act very good now what are the three main factors contribute to mental health problems yes ma'am very good so the three main factors contribute to mental health problems are biological factors life experiences or family um, background of mental health problems okay very good now who can give at least five early warning signs of mental health problem yes Zia. that's correct so now lastly Give at least three ways to maintain positive mental health. Wow, great answer, my dear students. So it really shows um, that you really do understand the topic that we have discussed today. Okay, after knowing all those things, do you care about your mental health, guys? 
Very good. So, because mental health is important, like our physical health. So, now, class, do you have any questions? Any clarifications? Okay, thank you, class. Okay, now, class, you will be having your online quiz using the quizzes application okay i just want you to search for the joinmyquiz.com and just type the code that i will be um give to you later okay be mindful and just follow the instructions okay i think that's all for today's class thank you for watching